Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you guys are new and this is the first video of mine you're seeing. My name is Georgia and today I thought we would do something super chill, it's going to be a very casual video obviously. I have no makeup on, I'm just in my active wear, chilling on my bed. Um, and I'm just going to be kind of giving you guys a bit of an update and chatting to you guys about what has been going on lately because I just, yeah, it's been a long time since I properly, like, was able to just share everything with you guys. I've been talking to a few people um, in my circle lately and a lot of people seem to be feeling a very similar way to what I have been feeling. So I'm hoping that maybe this video will not only, like, inform you guys of, like, what's going on with me and what's been happening and might like explain a few things but also might help some of you guys out i don't know i'm not really sure but we'll see what happens but hopefully some of you guys um if you have gone through a similar thing hopefully um you'll find some comfort in this video all right where do i even start all right let's just say the past few months have been an absolute mess. So much stuff has been going on. It's been a very, very busy time. And I feel like this time of year is busy for so many people. Not really sure why, but I just feel like everyone's busy at the moment. And I felt like I've really been struggling to like keep up with everything. I get a lot of comments and messages from you guys being like, oh, how do you, you know, always stay organized and always stay on top of everything and, you know, have control over your life. And I'm like just human. I do struggle and the past few months is a perfect example of that. I've been struggling for so long and obviously I show you guys my like hustling side a lot but there's definitely a side to me that is not sure what's going on, trying to work things out, a bit airy fairy. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video for you guys because I think that it's important to understand um, while you see, you know, 10 minutes of my entire week and my weekly vlogs and whatever, and I do speak a bit about stuff and whatever, but there's so much more that goes on besides all of that. So yeah, the last few months I've felt very wishy-washy with life. I kind of got caught up in the motions of everything, like everything that you've just like got to do. And I kind of lost connection with things that keep me grounded, keep me sane, and keep me happy and when you lose touch of those things you kind of just go with the wind you know there's no real certainty about everything so for a while i really really felt like i'd outgrown my space and i mean like living here living in this room my home i really felt like a change of scenery i was so adamant on like just being so eager to get out of here um because home kind of didn't seem like home anymore um, and it was a strange feeling like it wasn't like when I came home from overseas I was so excited to come home and be in my environment and then like a few weeks after being home I would like come home from going to work or being at uni or whatever and normally when I come home I'm like oh I'm home like it's good but when I would come home I would still feel a bit like not settled if that makes sense i just kind of felt like this wasn't home anymore when i drove into like my suburb and stuff i was like this isn't this isn't home i've like i've outgrown this place as weird as that sounds but that's just kind of how i felt and each day was so so unpredictable with how i was feeling um and it's kind of just like that anyway but i felt like my emotions were so heightened that i noticed a bigger difference between each day like i would wake up one day and be like yep you know i'm gonna hustle i'm gonna get lots of stuff done or i'm gonna have a really good day today whatever and then the next day i'd be like i don't even want to get out of bed some days it was such a struggle just to get up and convince myself that you know there was benefit to making the most of the day and that's like not my personality at all i'm always trying to find the positive in everything and always like eager to get up that's normally my personality that's like yes let's get up let's go to be honest some days i would just like cry like my emotions were all over the place i would literally like just walk downstairs and just start crying and i was like why are you crying i sat in my car one day before work and i was just crying i was just like bawling my eyes in my car and i yeah it was just stuff like that that I noticed that things weren't right and something was 
out of balance. You guys know that I journal a lot. And honestly, if I wasn't journaling, things would be a lot harder, like just with my um, emotions and things that I was thinking. But some of my journal entries from like my dark days, I guess, or like my not so great days, are really really sad and I don't show people stuff that's in my journal like that's like my my private stuff but like whoa like looking back at that when you're in a different mindset I was like geez I like I really wasn't a happy gal and like I was vlogging all through that I was still filming and you know taking Instagram photos and whatever and so I've got like content that where I'm kind of you know smiling and whatever in the pic but I'm not actually happy I feel like most of my content kind of reflects what I'm truly like and what I'm feeling but but yeah it was so hard to like vlog and pretend like everything was normal when everything wasn't normal <clears throat> and there was a few times during those few months where I would go to make a video for you guys because I'm very into like keeping it real and I want to share all of this stuff with you guys but I would go to film it and I would just be sobbing or crying and then I'd watch it back and I'd be like this is so sad like I do not want to put this on the internet and I'm kind of glad I didn't post any of that because I kind of want to update you guys and talk about this when I'm in a different mindset when I'm not so foggy and I don't know I can kind of I can see both sides if that makes sense and I love helping people too and this was such a hard thing um, or has been such a hard thing for me is trying to still help people and motivate people and inspire people and whatever when you're not feeling that great yourself and you're kind of the one that needs a bit of that I found that super difficult and then when I like wasn't really helping people I was like Georgie you're doing nothing like <laughs> come on but like it just would take so much energy out of me when I already didn't have much I just wanted to start afresh literally I said so many times I was like, I just want to pack up all of my things. Like, if I could tonight, I would just pack up all of my stuff, drive and get out of here and set up a new life. Like, that is all that I wanted. But, like, I, I just couldn't work out where my triggers were coming from. And the only way that I could think of a solution was just to have a clean, fresh slate. Um, and obviously, I didn't do that. But you guys know I'm a big, big energy person. I think people's energy kind of speaks louder than their words if i pick up on someone's energy and i think it's like a really good energy and um you know it's kind of uplifting i want to be around that kind of energy whereas when i meet people and i can tell that there's some sort of negative energy i don't want to borrow it and to be honest the last few months i have let toxic energy into my environment which i'm so against and i'm like no because i've been there before and i kind of like slipped back and i don't know i have the kind of personality which is really bad i think the best of everyone even if their intentions aren't pure or aren't aligned with mine i kind of just assume that everyone's like me and like you know wants people to be happy is nice wouldn't hurt you all of that kind of stuff um whereas the reality is there's not a lot of people out there like that and when things happen i kind of just like give them the benefit of the doubt I'm like oh no never mind but then you kind of have to like get to a point where you're like I'm drawing the line like that's enough and finally I got there but yeah feel a little bit stupid about letting some toxic vibes in I was also really sick of uni still kind of am um, because uni is very stressful right now and I'm just over being stressed I think but um yeah I had so many times where I was thinking about deferring um, I was thinking about deferring next year. I was thinking about dropping out of uni. Like there was so many thoughts about like getting rid of uni, but I'm well over halfway through my degree. And I kind of told myself that like, you know, you've come this far and you haven't come this far just to come this far. You know, you may as well finish it. Uni is just not where I thrive. It's not my environment. It's not my happy place. I just do not enjoy it at all. And I can't wait to get out of there. <laughs> I think I just wanted freedom and space. I, I, It's hard to explain and I still can't really explain it to other people. Like how it actually feels in my head. But like I wanted a fresh space and I wanted a clean start and you know to be free. But at the same time I wanted stability because my life has been so unstable for so long. I guess like nothing is ever really 
consistent for a long period of time. Journaling really like helps me sort out my thoughts but like still at the same time I can't really like explain it very well to people. Like I've tried to explain it to a few of my friends and I feel like how I actually feel hasn't really been portrayed but I'm trying to find something but I didn't know what I was trying to find. And one day it kind of didn't all click but it just felt a lot less stressful if that makes sense. Um, because still, to, like right now, I have a much better grasp on like what's going on now, but I still don't have every answer, and that's okay. And so, um, a little while ago, I asked you guys on my Instagram um, to like answer a few questions for me because I was reevaluating everything, got out like my goaling journal, reflected on my goals, tried to set some new intentions, and kind of just work out where I was and where I wanted to be. And hopefully try and work out what was going on. So yeah, I asked you guys like a few questions on my Instagram. And I got so much feedback. Thank you guys so much. If you responded to those, you'll know what I'm talking about. But thank you so much. I would be in big trouble if I didn't have a good circle of people around me. Oh my gosh, my cheeks are going red. I hate that. It, I do that when I get stressed. <laughs> I accidentally just knocked my camera off my little tripod thing so sorry if the angle has now changed but there are a few like changes or things I kind of want to do differently um, or improve upon going forward to hopefully help me out these are just kind of the things that um, I thought would help me with what I'm kind of wanting to do if that makes sense the first one was to be more open and raw with you guys and to share not only the good stuff but also the bad stuff and just i don't know keep it very real that's like a big thing for me and my channel for my content like everything that i kind of put out um online i just want it to be real i really want to continue to keep a positive environment on my social media accounts and just to kind of put a um, positive and realistic stuff out there. I'm sorry, I've said real a lot of times, but like that's that was a big thing that you guys sent to me um, about like my content and stuff, and I really want to keep that up because that's that's what I'm about. I really want to continue to create content that um, helps you guys out and kind of um, gets the best out of you as well as me, if that makes sense. Another thing similar to that, I want to create more content. Um, about mental health, mental well-being, looking after yourself um, and yeah just like in general being the best person that you can be because that's what I'm setting out to do so I kind of want to share that with you guys. Every week I want to be setting aside time to work on like content stuff even just like planning out things, planning out videos to film, planning out um, information that I want to get out to you guys or things I want to talk to you about. I think that is really really important to me because um, I'm a very structured person. I like to have things organized um, and I much prefer, especially on Instagram, I prefer engaging in content that is real and kind of like means something rather than just like I look cute today, here you go, here's a picture of my face. I mean, like, I like that too. I don't know, I just enjoy engaging with people's stories and posts that are kind of related to something. I also, this is a big one for me, I want to take time for myself whenever I need it and not feel guilty about it. I always have to be doing something. Like, I always have to be busy and if I take a break or whatever, I always feel so guilty and... I'm like, you know, there's so many things that you could be doing. Yes, there's lots of things I could be doing, but your sanity is so much more important than getting a little bit further in an assignment on one particular day. Obviously, if it's like due and you have to work on it, sometimes you just have to be disciplined. But I think it's really important to not associate guilt with looking after yourself because you have to look after yourself. And the last one, very cheesy, but say yes to new experiences and adventures because that's how we grow people and and I, whilst I feel like I'm very what's the word I've come a long way I guess so like I'm I'm very set in my ways I know who I am I know what I deserve I know that kind of stuff but at the same time I know that there's so much more growing to do there's so many more things for me to experience and 
I just want to soak it up while I can because the reality is one day I won't be able to do as much as I can do now. I'm probably never going to be in a position like I am now where I am healthy, I'm fit, I'm able to move around, I'm able to go places and do all of this stuff. I can practically do whatever I want and I want to make the most of that um, because yeah reality is one day our bodies aren't going to be able to do all the things that they do so well now so yeah got to soak it up while I can and I want to share all of that with you guys I want you guys to yeah kind of grow with me and experience life like I am I tell you this all the time but you guys are literally like my friends like I come on here and get so excited to talk to you and hang out with you in my videos I just feel like it's it's us hanging out and I love that and I never want to lose that so obviously I'm in a much better headspace than I was um, the past few weeks um, and I'm very very grateful for that I never take for granted how good I feel and when I feel well if that makes sense so yeah I'm very very grateful to be feeling like this and very grateful to have come out the other side and be able to see things from a different perspective I still don't have everything sorted but yeah kind of as I said before I'm very confident in myself I know what I'm doing and I might not have everything figured out but like I'm confident enough to um you know share that with other people and share that with you guys because yeah, that's that's super important to me but anyway I'm gonna stop babbling on because nobody wants to sit here for two hours I hope you guys did get something out of this video hopefully um, and are a little bit more educated or like a bit more understanding but I hope you guys are doing well I love you guys with all of my heart honestly you guys are incredible. Have the best day whenever you're watching this look after yourselves if you have any more questions for me or anything you'd like me to talk about in future videos or whatever let me know feel free to message me on um, instagram if you don't want to like comment on this video but yeah i hope you guys can understand where i'm coming from and what i'm kind of feeling and what i'm thinking going forward because i'm hoping that the last few months of this year um, and especially next year will have a lot a lot of change and um yeah things will just get really exciting peace out girl scouts have a good day i'll see you in my next video Bye guys. <laughs> but I wish I could rewind me better.